Hello everyone. Today I'm going to teach you how to figure out if your 4903 is either smart sync or free one or both. Now, let's begin. Everything you see here is basically the 4903 series to the 4904 series. Now, if you somewhat end up having one of these 4903 series, you do not have to worry about it. They're all free one by default. And these are produced for a very short time, for like the 19, 1990 to 1993 at least before. Before Simplet made one of these up here. What I would look out for is the 120 volt AC series. I don't know what the model number is, but pay attention to the strobe and it looks more thicker on that version. So if you don't want that version, just simply flip for the 4903, 9101 to 9104, I believe. That's pretty much the plate for these. So again, if you have this plate, you don't have to worry about that. If you have these, it kind of depends. The 4903 series are still being made today, but they're completely different. They're either a 4906 or a 4903. It is whatever it is, I guess. To easily tell if it's a free one, you look in the back, and you want to pay attention to the way the stickers lay out. The one with like smart sync will have a hole, and you should be able to see it right there. But however, this model is basically a either free one or a smart sync, so I am not that concerned. Pay close attention to how the strobe flashes and what candela. The maximum flash you want to go is at least between 60 to 24. This is my 4903-9202. As you can see, it's 24 and it's 110 candela. However, this is an older model and it can really basically support uh, free one, but the strobe is ridiculously slow. As long as the strobe can flash within that time frame, which it should be three to four seconds, you're all good. Some models like this can basically support free one pretty much, but if you see alarmer stickers like this, there are more than likely to be free run. And back to this one, if you see an alarm like this and we have a hole in it, I would definitely pay close attention to the model number. If you see it's a 4906, I will I would personally stay away from that because they basically require you to have a smart sync module in order to operate their horn and strobe. Also pay attention to the wiring, especially on your Siri. Because the 4906 have only two wires and a bunch of dip switches that require you to set up for like the simple 41,000U or so forth. So I would definitely pay attention to the wiring and how to throw it wired. Just like this one in that same hole I was talking about. Also watch some YouTube video to figure out or determine which model is a free one, version or like whatever it is. Pay attention to the model number, and if, if the number is close to what it is, it is more than likely to be a free model version. For example, the 9236. This is the 9242. So because it falls close or remotely close to each other, it's more than likely to be the same thing. And if that did not help, I would definitely try to look at the model a little bit more, whatever you can. If you can't really find too much information or you're very limited to it, I will stay away from it. Older Simplet models are less likely to have smart strength built into them. Newer models, however, is more than likely to have it, pretty much, because obviously the fire protection association, whatever the heck, requires that fire alarms should be able to sync, I guess. No, I forgot the speaker version of this. Pretty much the same thing. There are basically uh, free run. There we go. Make sure you look around the model number in between this if you're choosing to buy an alarm that is close to this. That should definitely help you to tell the free run pretty much. And I hope that wrap it up. But definitely stay away from the 49 Assist series version of this. And if you look at the 49 of 3 series, pay close attention to this hole or pay close attention to the candela rating and the model number very closely. Because you want to select the one that is close to this, close to this, and close to this. Because all this here, this, 
this and this are a free run. So that wrap it up. If I miss anything here, let me know in the comments. And now we're in the hardest part of the video, the Tree Alert series. Ah! At first glance, I would want to definitely pay attention to the way the alarms are designed. Here's why. In some True Alert series, you will not be able to see the Candela sticker, which is right under there. But over here, if you somewhat see a Candela window on this side, I would run away because that's definitely smart thing. But however, how can you tell? For these guys, it's easy. But this here, you're gonna have a trouble trying to figure it out. Now, let's start with the easiest part. Try to find a listing where the beauty plate is exposed. Let me go ahead and do that. And there we go. Pay close attention to these. This in the bottom over here is where you put the strobe. This in the top here is where the horn goes. Now, pay very close attention and find a list if you're buying this on eBay or if you get it for free or whatever. Pay close attention to this part over here. Here's why. On the smart sync version, these two will not be there. Only these and a bunch of dip switches for some reason. If you see an alarm that looks like this one right here, stay away from it because it's smart sync definitely. Also again, like I said to one of the uh, other 49 look for the model number and video people make out of it and make sure it is closed within these numbers over here because definitely these numbers mean something like look here I have a 49 uh, 9426 and over here 25 now you see why I mean to pay attention to the model number within those model numbers there's pretty much the same thing as this guy over here like that switch it is uh up here, right there. But again, sorry for a little shutter. Look for YouTube videos about it. And make sure you can find one that are close to these model numbers over here. If you can find one, definitely go for it. However, I will stay away from anything below like uh, 24, I think. Because they're definitely smart sync. Like this alarm over here, it's a 9418. Definitely stay away from these model numbers because it's completely smart sync. For these, it's a gamble. You really can't tell if this is smart sync or not. So again, look in between these model numbers. Also another clue, look close attention to the Candela selection. If I'm not mistaken, all these are supposed to be 15, 75, 110 Candela. On most simplex model numbers, either a number goes below to represent a lower Candela, or vice versa, or a couple of numbers up and down. You would definitely want to make sure you either have the same model number or have it completely close to the one that you're looking for, so you can ensure that that model is free run. Just like D2, 9168, 9169. This is a 15 Candela version, this is a 75 Candela version. But again, it is important to look closely to the model number because you'll be better off to be very close to the model number than to be far off and have a smart sync device. If that doesn't help at all, I will put a link in the description below for a model search up but don't guarantee that's gonna show you everything because sometimes it doesn't. So basically, on this side, I really don't have to worry too much other than 120 volt AC model. This, I will look closely between the oldest part and the newer part, like just this one. These, you have to look very, very close at the model number. Like very, very close. Look at these model numbers I just showed you. And stay away from the 4906 and I think the 4905. Also, another tip I forgot to mention. If you see a ceiling version of these, stay away from it. And I forgot to include the remote strobe version of these. It's the same thing, pretty much. 
just watch out for these kind of holes. And if it's a ceiling one, make sure it's the old version. And not the new one where the font is a little thicker and smaller. Alright, that's pretty much the video. I hope I helped you all um, figuring out if this model is not smart sync or which model is smart sync. So, have a great day everybody.